South Texas is full of culture, full of history, full of colorful stories. And when you sew it all together, you get some unique town names. From Natalia to China Grove, there's plenty to go around. Justin Horn traveled to two of his favorites, and he shed some light on how they got their unconventional labels. Many South Texas towns take their name from historical figures, with some standing out more than others. Take the town of Bigfoot, for instance. It may have a small population, but the community's namesake has a big reputation. No, there's no mythical monster amongst the trees. Rather, the town's namesake is this colorful character, William Bigfoot Wallace, a war hero, Texas Ranger, and a tall guy, who likely received his nickname after being mistaken for an Indian called Bigfoot. But how did this town come to bear his name? There's a lot of different stories. The most popular stems from when Bigfoot reportedly owed five cents for some tobacco. An IOU was placed on the wall at the local store. The postal inspector comes down and wants to know what the name of the town is. And the storekeeper looks at the wall and says, we call it Bigfoot. Wallace was buried here. His body later moved to Austin. But the William Bigfoot Wallace Museum stands at the edge of town in his honor. Meanwhile, about an hour to the east, Ponte Maria is the oldest Polish settlement in the country. So this town, which was founded on Christmas Eve in 1854, needs some translation. Pana Maria after the Virgin Mary. Pana Maria in Polish means young girl Mary. It's a name that even attracted a pope. When Pope John Paul II visited San Antonio in 1987, he was scheduled to visit Pana Maria. Sadly, he ran out of time. So all the people of Pana Maria uh, were guests of his at Assumption Seminary. A happy ending, and Ponte Maria remains a sight to see, joining many other South Texas towns with fascinating histories and unconventional names. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News. Hey, what would you say if we told you an 800-pound gorilla-like creature that walked on two feet and lived in the woods existed? Many refer to the mythical beast as Bigfoot or Sasquatch, and some are convinced David, he's it's real. It's definitely a close one to call. It could be a bison, it could be a bear, and it definitely could be Bigfoot. Well, hundreds have claimed to see this mysterious monster, huge creature. There are reports that it's been spotted on, on every continent, but still there is no conclusive proof that it even exists. Can it's a myth still in the making, a legend that has fascinated people around the world for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Tales of a large, hairy creature roaming the forest, frightening unsuspecting travelers, and now that legend has come to our area. K-10's Rick Springer has more on a North Texas family's search for answers after hearing strange noises in the night.